thank the fans. Uh, I appreciate them coming out and um, thought we had great weather today, a little windy, but uh, considering the weather we've practiced in, I thought the weather conditions were awesome. Um, I thought our players uh, handled it the right way. I wanted to handle it like a game, very game-like uh, situations. You know, the next time we put on those uniforms, uh, it'll be for real. And we'll be playing in Atlanta against a really good opponent. So we want to find out where we are as a team and get a lot of guys reps. You know, we, we're kind of where we got guys that have got a lot of work and a lot of reps, you know, fifth year, fourth year guys. And then we've got about 40 guys that are in their first year. Um, so the, the, the discrepancy between old and young is uh, really great. Um, I thought the defense played much better today than they did in previous scrimmages in terms of like energy, enthusiasm, running to the ball. Uh, we rushed the passer better today. Offense probably didn't have as good a day as maybe they've had in the two scrimmages, but some of that was dictated by the, uh, the, the terms of which we scrimmaged with, which was passing and, and loose plays, and uh, they did a nice job uh, handling that in the second half. But overall, I don't evaluate things on today. I know you guys will ask questions and talk about today. For me, it was about the entire spring, 15 practices, uh, very pleased with our, our health uh, coming out of it. So with that, I'll open it up. Yeah, Coach, when we talked to you after this, the first scrimmage, I think you mentioned the operation being a little bit sloppy. How did you feel like the operation was just from the sidelines kind of one today? It was better second scrimmage than the first scrimmage, and then it was better uh, today than the first two scrimmages. We had uh, you know, one delay game, which wasn't really the offense's fault. We had an injured player on the field, so we slowed down, and the officials kept it going. But operation-wise, I was very pleased. We got to use the new headset model. Both quarterbacks had... Uh, headsets in and it could talk to the co coordinators you know, up till 15 seconds. We have one on defense. So we're able to use three of those, get comfortable with it. Operation wise, I was, we, we put so much stress on our practice operation that the game is traditionally easy. So Mike, help move around just a little bit in the different spots. Just what have you seen from him over the course of this spring? What is First and foremost, he's been, uh, what's the right word, present. He's been able to practice, he has not. He had spring practice last year. He missed some practices. He had fall camp last year. He missed some practices. And I explained to him, you know, if you want to have a really good year, you want to have a really good camp. And he's kind of bought into that. Like, practicing good makes you better. You can't – it's not his fault he's been injured, but you can't play good if you don't practice. So I felt that he had a really good spring from a standpoint of leadership, uh, toughness. Uh, and he didn't get a ton of reps. I mean, the guy's – been a two-year starter, but um, it'll be you know a chance to get Ty more reps when we come back in the fall. Uh, continue to, to increase Joseph uh, Jonah Jai and then Justin Green. So we got some defensive ends that can spell him, but he was a uh, he was a, a factor today. Colby Young with a big touchdown catch today, but how have you seen him grow and sort of integrate himself within this team over the course of spring practice? Well, uh, first and foremost, I think all across the board, our wideouts maybe our best leadership group. O-line maybe and then 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 receiver. Like they have some really good core leaders. Well he has um, he's integrated himself into that group really well. Uh, he's not you know the alpha leader. He's a quiet kid. But you know what impresses me about him is he, he he's showing up on special teams. I'm like when you show up on special teams and you show a commitment to blocking and holding people up He's been a really good special teams player. And we sold him that, hey, if you came here, you had to buy into those values. It's made him tougher, more physical. Um, he's a big body. He's a tough matchup uh, for all teams. And I'm pleased with where he is. But, you know, he still has work to do in terms of learning. I look at him like Rara last year. This time last year, Rara didn't understand the offense. He couldn't line up and execute all the time. He's, Rara's a lot further along. We didn't have to give him as many reps. We didn't have to give Aaron as many reps. But uh, Kobe did a nice job. Kurt, what do you think about ETN? I mean, you guys have had some really effective backs. Is he is he like a Swift or a Cook, or what would you say about his play? He's a good back. Um, he's explosive. He's quick in and out of the hole. Uh, he's you know different than what we've had. I think Swift analogy is good. Cook's analogy is good. He's uh, he's really taken a lot of uh, personal pride in working on his protection. And he got a nice pickup today. Uh, he's he's learning the offense. I mean, look, the guy's a he's been a good SEC player for two years. It's not like um, he's a freshman. He's, he's, a, he's a really good player. He's a really good kid, and I've been proud of the way he's uh, handled everything since his uh, deal. We saw Roger Robinson taking a lot of reps, kind of the opposite type of player of Trevor Etienne. What did you see from him, and how has his growth kind of continued uh, from uh, his freshman year? Uh, he keeps getting better. He's got toughness. Uh, I enjoy coaching Rod. He takes coaching well. 
a big phys physical guy that uh, you want to get more um, out of him, and he's he's giving us what he's got. He's got to continue to work on his pass protection. He's become a better route runner. Uh, I'm pleased with where Rod is, and, and he needs to be even better for us next year. Coach, what progress did Carson continue to make this spring? Yeah, Carson had a great spring to me. He's had a quiet leadership. He's got a lot of confidence. When things aren't going well, to kids and players in O-line turned to him. He had a really good moxie out on the field. He never, you know, pressed or, or got frustrated even today. He, he, he drove the team down and made some really elite throws there at the end uh, to give us a chance to, to tie the ball game. But in, in taking today out of it, I mean, I don't, I don't even go off today. He's had a good spring. He's just... He knows how to navigate a pocket. He knows where to go with the ball. There's nothing he hadn't seen on defense. So uh, I'm happy with where he is. I want him to continue to grow as a leader. Did your heart skip a beat at all when he fell down on tape? Not yeah, it did. It worried me there. He rolled up a little bit. But he's a durable kid. He's an athlete, good baseball player, and uh, got rolled up on some there, and it was a little scary. Kirby, what did the DBs show you this spring with what y'all lose there? Um, that we got a long way to go. You know, we lost three really good football players there, and um, we're thin. Uh, you know, David Daniel wasn't able to go today, uh, and I'm trying to think who else we had out. DB Malachi was out, Justin Rett was out, DeMello was dealing with a little bit of a hamstring coming off of that. So, you know, we got better in the secondary, but we're not where we need to be in terms of being able to make plays on the ball downfield and you know, affect the quarterback. To build off of that, Jacoby Thomas entering year three, what skill set does he bring and what do you expect from him the rest of the spring? So, He's a tough guy. I mean, he's smart. Um, plays really hard. You know, he, he was he, he showed up last year on special teams, and I always say if they can do the things we ask them to do on special teams, then they'll be good defensive players. He he got put in a pickle because he was really competing at star, and he has a chance to to play for us and start at star. Well, we had to work him at safety with the uh, the injuries, so he played 50-50 safety star, but he had to play more safety today. CJ Allen with an interception, Dylan Walker with a tip pass, uh, no small moment in the spring. What did you make of that group as they sort of progressed throughout the 15 practices? Grove, I, I, I really thought that Raylan and CJ would be further along because of how much they played, and I don't think you give them enough credit for they really shouldn't have been out there last year and they had to go play. And um, they didn't play bad, but they didn't play great. Well, I expected the spring to be like this huge jump. They're still freshmen. Uh, and CJ and Raylan got better. They're going to be really good leaders for us. Uh, I think the fact Smiles out was good for them. Um, and then it was, you know, Jalen missed a lot of time this spring with a with an ankle injury, and today was his first day back. And you know, it doesn't say enough about our team. The kids are trying to get out of spring games all around the country, and this guy was mad that we were thinking about not playing him. I mean, he wanted to play. He wanted to go out there and compete and get better. And um, really appreciate Jalen's leadership and the way he handles things. Kirby, what do you think about this wide receiver group? Is it, is it deeper than you've had in many years? I don't know. I don't. I know the, 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 the first level, let's call it the first four guys, five guys deep, it's very experienced, like very experienced. And then after that, it's like, I'm still trying to figure out what we got. You know, there's, there's young players that are talented. Sokovia and Nitro are going to be good players. Um, the, 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 the portal guys, are, are still coming along, Mike Jackson in London, and then Kobe is factored in and made some plays. Kobe's made plays like he made like that all spring, and then when you throw the Rod Rod Dillon, Arian, and uh, Dom out there, it gives you a – what they are is the, like, the bullies. They, they, they bully on special teams. They, they, they lead. They show toughness. And that's usually your defensive back group. And for us right now, it's our, our wide outs. Coach, uh, Lawson Lucky was on the field pretty much – every play for the red team today. What has he kind of shown to show himself as a every down contributor at the tight end position? He's had a great spring. We gave him a lot of reps, a lot of chance to grow with Pierce being out. He's shown great toughness, great maturity, uh, uh, durability. I mean, that's that's what Oscar Delph has been. Oscar Delph is the one guy when Darnell was out, Oscar took all the reps. When Brock was out, Oscar took all the reps. So Oscar's taken a lot of football reps and gotten better for us. Well, Lawson stepped up and took home a a larger role of that, you know, and, and the Riddell kid and Heinrich, they both, they both came a long way from the start of spring. A long, they got a long way to go, but they came a long way. And, and Jaden missed half the spring probably with a hamstring, so it was good to have uh, those two guys get better. Looks like Christian Miller might have got banged up. He, he went back in, I think. <coughs> I thought I saw him go back in. He's. Uh, he had a shoulder uh, there, and then I heard him say he jumped back in. Ryan shows up with the crutch or the cane or whatever you want to call it. Just what is that? Is that an addition to the knee injury you mentioned a couple weeks ago? Yeah, the knee, it's, it's a stress, uh, it's a small stress fracture. So it's not a 
break or a, a significant injury, it's a shutdown injury and let it rest. Um, and so we listened to what the doctor said and, and did that, but it's not a, a long-term problem, but it did affect us in terms of reps. It probably gave Gunner more growth than ever because he took twos, threes. I mean, Gunner just took a ton of reps. Kirby, I know that this is about the spring game, but this is kind of a new world we're in, as you've noted before. I don't, don't think you're going to hold a portal press conference in the next week or two. What What is kind of the overview? I know you guys recruit to need. I know Gunner mentioned you usually feel comfortable with the fourth quarterback. Gunner mentioned you usually feel comfortable with four scholarship quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Scholarship. I always want to have – Yeah, our goal is to have four and a really good walk-on. That's the goal. We think we've got a, a – Preferred walk on kid that's a really good player that's coming in and uh, excited about him. We thought he was a really good player in our state. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I can't predict the poor ball. I wouldn't even try to. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about our guys and, and the retention of our players. Jalen mentioned that he thinks the secondary has kind of had a chip on their shoulder with all the guys that have left. Just how have you seen that group attack the opportunities they've had this spring replacing those guys and also with, with Malachi being out there? Well, I don't know if I've seen them attack it. I mean, I, I want to see them attack the ball better. We gave up, uh, we gave up a lot of plays in the spring and, and what I call 50-50 balls. We didn't get a lot of them out. What you saw, the microcosm of today, was a really good quarterback throwing really good touch passes and those, the throw to Dom. I mean, I've seen that 20 times this spring. And it's like we, we were right there. We just couldn't quite get it out. And when you have a good thrower and a catcher with people that protect, it's dangerous. So I, I want to see more out of the secondary. Like, I want to see, you know, I mean, yeah, Malachi's out, but that's okay. Uh, there's other guys out there that have scholarships that can make plays, too. What did you see out of Gabe Harris this spring? Man, he does a bunch of different things I thought he had a good day today. I mean, I can't say his whole spring was like that, but he was disruptive today. He's twitchy. He's hard to block. I love the way he plays. But he, he, he sometimes plays out of control, which can be a good thing. And it was good today on some plays. But it also, first play of the game, he screwed up in the wrong way, didn't have right, didn't line up right. So sometimes you don't know what you're getting with the game. But you do get great effort, and you do get great toughness. And I love that. Okay, Troy Bowles, uh, you said he was having a really great spring. Um, what did he do today? It feels like he was all over the when field. What did I say? Troy Bowles was having a really great spring. <laughs> and then what can you say of like, his development and, and stuff like that and um, how he's kind of progressed, especially making an athletic interception um, in the first half? Was that Troy's? Uh, Troy Bowles. Uh, he was credited. With he was credited with the interception. I'm not sure if he actually had it. I was saying that play. Allen had one interception. Oh, they, gave, they might have gave Troy that one in the first half, passed, though, I think. Yeah. And maybe they didn't. I thought that ball bounced. But yeah. no, um, Troy's, <laughs> Troy's, Troy's done a good job. I mean, Troy's, Troy's got to get better. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's got to get better. Um, he's in the same class with those other two guys. They got an extra spring on him. He needs to be you know, playing catch up. He is a bright kid. He's, he's a really good special teamer. Um, he works hard. I expect, I have, hold him to a higher standard being a coach's son. And my expectation is when you learn the defense and you understand it, you've executed it at a high level. And he's got to be better. Now he is an athlete and he can play in space. And that's what playing linebacker is now in football. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not happy with where he is, but I can't really judge you know, how he played today. I was thinking of CJ's interception. Kirby, you've got a streak going. I know you don't pay too much attention to these things, but I think you've won 20 games in a row when you've had more than a week to prepare. Obviously, there's an off season. Can you give us a kind of an overall 10,000 foot view of what's what's next? Lifting. I mean, we're going to go Monday. We, we, we get after it. We're going to work out. We're going to target some guys' weights. We're going to drive some weights down. We're going to lift. We got to get our bottom half of our roster to the top half. And you're not going to get there watching spring game tape. I mean, <laughs> you, 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 you got to go get to work. And uh, we're going to work really hard on those guys. Uh, we're going to keep meeting and talking to our players. I told them the job's not done. We're not where we need to be. We just don't get to practice anymore. We get to do other things. So uh, we'll get back to work Monday. Carson, you said that he hoped the final result meant everybody gets steak and lobster. How do you how do you handle this tradition? Yeah, I told him it's Benny Weenies for a tie. <laughs> Kissing your sister. And uh, the guys that played both sides of the like we had a couple guys change over teams that I was going to let them eat steak for changing teams and being selfless. They, did, they didn't approve. Did you make the call not to go for the win, though? I mean, is that part Well, of I didn't want to put a two-point play on tape, which we, we did that last year. <laughs> last year, the year before, we did it. I was like, ah, we, we, we don't keep those things in our pocket. We don't need to show off those and figure the kickers needed to work. 
Xavier McLeod had a sack today. Just what have you seen since he's joined the team? You know, he's flashed. Um, I wish he would play with more consistency, meaning like he did today all the time. He had you know some good plays and some bad plays. And I look at it, he's really still a freshman. Um, he's worked hard. Uh, he's he's gone against a really good offensive line, and he's taken on some uh, ferocious double teams. And he's really a good athlete. And uh, uh, if we continue to grow him and get him stronger and get him tougher, he's going to have a chance to help us. Regarding what you said about the, the portal and, and retention, like what is your level of concern about other teams coming for, for your, your guys? I'm not, I mean, I don't really, what, what, can I control it? No, I can't, so I don't, I mean, I don't, if I concern myself with things I can't control, I won't live long. I mean, I, I, I mean, there's just too much out there. So it's really one of those things where it's like, do you want to be here or do you not? Because they know how we do things by now. They all know. They said that was the easiest practice we've had all spring. So they enjoyed it thoroughly. And um, if guys want to be somewhere else, I, I have no control over that. We've got time for two more questions. Jake Pope had a couple pass breakups today. Where have you seen him come out of this spring? He did a good job. He, he carried over well what he knew from um, you know, his last school to here. Um, he's got to continue to get better and understand our defense, um, make plays in space, and, and he needs to help us on special teams and be able to play faster and, and do some things. I did think he made some nice plays. In general, you have a lot of young explosive athletes on the red team defense. How do you think they did in terms of communicating, being on the same page, and executing their assignments today? I'd feel better watching the tape than commenting on it. I, I did think they had fun out there, and it was a lot of mid-year defensive players out there just kind of running around. And you know, you see the athleticism of Justin Williams and Chris Jones and Chris Cole and Ellis and KJ. It's just like so many of them. They just got here, and that's going to pay off for us, you know, uh, when they have to play. Thank you, coach. Thanks.